Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. In the last episode, we talked about whether there are possessions in heaven. So, the next logical question is, do the souls in hell have any actual possessions? In a way, it seems like possessions are good things, therefore souls in hell don't have them. Really, the only tough question here is related to something we said in the last episode. If souls in heaven can possess heaven by belonging there, can't souls in hell possess hell by belonging in hell? Well, the fact of the matter is, people don't really belong in hell in the same sense that they do in heaven. When a soul is admitted to heaven, they're going where God wanted them to go. And the soul has been designed by God for the happiness of heaven. God gives the person a place in heaven as an actual gift from him, so by divine decree, the person belongs in heaven. That's not the case with souls in hell. God doesn't decree that they should be given hell. Souls go to hell because they've rejected the will of God for them, choosing to be rebellious and sinful instead. Because of this, it's actually impossible for them to come to heaven. So, it's not as though hell is an actual possession given to them. They just can't get out of it in the same sense that little Timmy can't get out of the old well that he's fallen into. Timmy doesn't own the well just because he's made a foolish decision and that caused him to fall in. If he'd been given the well as part of an inheritance, that'd be different. That's why those in heaven possess it, but those in hell don't. In short, no one will possess anything in hell. Next time, are there any real experiences in the afterlife? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.